Vegeta and holy crap this is the biggest SH figure arts figure we have to date I thought that the Shenron would be the biggest nope they upscaled it with the great ape Vegeta and he does look great with Frieza down there and a humongo thanko humongous thanks to 86 reviews for sending this guy out to me from Japan it was a huge hassle for the both of us and I really thank him for taking his time and patience to send this guy out. He really didn't have to, but I'm forever grateful with 86 reviews. He does have a great, detailed, nice editing review out there on YouTube already. I'm pretty sure the majority of you guys have watched it, as I already have as well. And yeah, I just really love the detail on this guy. Yeah, he doesn't stand that great with Vegeta or Goku. Because in real life, he's like maybe uh, Goku and Vegeta are supposed to be as tall as uh, like half the size of his boot. But I mean, if they made this guy a few inches bigger, let's just say if they made him like about 18 inches bigger and threw on 70 to $100 more to get this guy, probably would have spent the money because of the type of money I spent for shipping for this guy. <laughs> but yeah, um... My wife would kill me if she knew how much I spent. But she already knows. I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, I just really love the detail on this guy. Super solid figure. Sounds great with Goku and Vegeta. I don't care that the size isn't accurate. Because it still looks great. I mean, I have spent a lot of time playing with this figure a lot. And yeah, nothing to complain about much. We're taking a look at the box, we have... A window style packaging, like always, nice artwork, graphic of uh, Great Ape Vegeta in the front. This box is freaking huge, like really freaking huge. And it was, I mean, it wasn't that heavy, but I mean, eight pounds. Box is about seven to eight pounds, but the box is so freaking massive. I had to review the box this way for you guys. So taking a look at the front. The side, the other side, then you have on the bottom, Grape 8 Vegeta, and then the top with him screaming, and then the back, all the poses that you can get this guy into, especially with a stand and a display stand and a Yajirobe, they didn't need to do that, but they did, so yeah, that is freaking awesome as well, and the seal to show that this is not a bootleg. All right, so we're gonna do this Kenny style. So basically, we're gonna take a look at the smaller stuff first. As you can see, let's just plug this tail out. He does come with a sand tail. And this is done very nicely. Nicely sculpted. No, there is no Benny wire. It is fixated like that. And if you're wondering how to plug in the tail, it does have a little peg like so. So you can plug it into the butt like so. And then you have his teeny weeny one. Where it just looks like a chode. So you got a chode. That's when Yajirobe chops it off. I have open hand right here. Nicely detailed. Look at that. Look at all that 
a torn battle damage. Both hands look similar. And then you have a finger pointing one as well. I really love the detail on the torn. And if you want to take your time, you can go ahead and airbrush this. I won't because it's uh, original. And then he does come with two fists, two large fists. And once again, torn, a lot of detail in the fists, especially in the gloves as well. We'll get to that. Then you got a double pair of hands where it's already fixed, it's already glued together. And then you got a mini Goku. So yeah, it's just him screaming. I can't feel my legs! Right there. Pretty cool. And then you got Mr. Yajirobe. Pretty cool. Him flying in the air. You got a little peg hole for his stand. He had his uh, non existent Yajirobe balls. So, how to take off his faceplate? We're going to do it like this camera up you're gonna lift this up like so I love the fact holy craps I love the fact that we have an articulated tongue right here that is cool I really love that and his uh, chin can go up like that if you want to don't see why you do it but you can take out the faceplate like so so you got an empty faceplate so you got two different types of faceplate you got the one with the eyes, and then the one he has a vein on his forehead, and his eyes missing. So if you want to do it, you can just uh, plug that into his head like so. Find his mouth, plug it in like so. Now you have a missing eye Vegeta. And then if you're wondering how to uh, get Goku in his hands I really love this butterfly joint you have to pre make his arms so that way the hands can just snap in like so one hand plug it in and then take the other hand very easy and there you have Goku squeezing the crap out of I'm sorry Vegeta squeezing the crap out of Goku they are very easy to do very easy now getting in art getting into articulation with this guy his face can turn side to side his mouth can open and close from the bottom only he can look up about this much it's pretty good and then he can look down as well his arms can come up very good Especially because he, uh, his shoulder pads are on the back of his shoulders like how Goku's sleeves are. So I really like that. I really like that these um, shoulder pads can go in and out. More to the front. So if you look in the back, it's not too ugly. Oh, this is such a workout. God damn it. He has a... Uh, Double jointed arms, but only can go about 90 degrees. He has a wrist hinge and a swivel at the wrist. His ab can crunch about that much. Can crunch back about that much. He has a swivel. He also has a diaphragm joint. Holy crap. He can do the splits really good, which I'm very surprised. He can't kick back, but he can kick high. And then he has a double jointed knee, a hinge, and a swivel at the boot, and then a toe hinge as well. So, highly articulated figure, super fucking heavy to carry him around while filming. Alright, tell me what you guys think. Tell me if you guys are going to get this figure. And yeah, he was 189. Huge thanks to 86 Reviews for sending me this figure from Japan. It was $189 for the fig, 
and then a whopping meh, 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 a lot of money to ship it to to the US uh, because it is a huge chunk of lunka and it weighs over seven pounds and yeah I had 86 pre-order one for me so yeah the shipping was humongo but I don't regret a single penny at all because this figure is super cool super articulated and I can remake some scenes and remake new scenes uh, with this figure I wonder if they're gonna do other heavy hitters if they're gonna make more great apes or other large villains I don't know maybe uh, I hope so and yeah I, maybe they should do once a year so that way we don't end up so broke by the end of the year because I mean even the normal size figure arts are hitting about 50 to 70 bucks and then you got those uh, rare ones that hit about 100 to 150 so maybe with the heavy hitters they should do one heavy hitter a year they did Shenron a few years ago they did great ape this year I wonder who's gonna be next year so that's gonna be super cool so if you guys haven't had the time yet go check out 86 reviews subscribe to his channel and follow him on Instagram and as well as me if you have not liked this video subscribe to my channel yet I suggest you do and follow me on Instagram Kenny boys toys with the Z in the middle because I'm always posting pictures before the videos so yeah there you guys have it I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, I do have a lot of figures that I want to review but just uh, like other YouTubers, we're all afraid to review a figure that isn't the norm because our channels, for some reason, became the Dragon Ball channel. Uh, but I know that a lot of us want to venture out and review other stuff for you guys. So if you guys want to see that, show some love because uh, putting together a very high quality or well, well quality video takes a lot of our personal time, and that is what I'm running out of in my personal life. I have so many other things that I need to do. So yeah, all you guys that have been watching all the videos and clicking the likes and commenting, I really appreciate that. It makes me feel that my time that I put into my videos do not go in vain and that you guys are entertained somehow. Remember, we don't make that much money on YouTube. We're all doing this for pure love. So yeah, if you guys have any other Negative comments to put down on this channel. Just remember, you'll be blocked and blocked and blocked and blocked, 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 blocked. Anyways, I want to thank you guys all for watching, guys, and have a great day.